In this tutorial, we will learn how to install a core or contributed module using the administrative interface or Drush. By the end of this tutorial, you'll be able to install a core module or a contributed module whose files have already been uploaded to the site through the administrative interface or by using the Drush command line tool. Before you get started, you'll want to make sure that you know what modules are, where to find them, and where to place the downloaded code in your site. If you want to use Drush to install modules, Drush must be installed. For more information on these topics, see the links in the written version of this tutorial. You can use either the administrative interface or the Drush command line tool to install modules. We'll look at both. Let's start with the administrative interface. On your Drupal site, in the Manage Administrative menu, click on Extend, which takes you to the path Admin slash Modules, where the Extend page appears, showing all of the available modules in your site. Check the boxes for the module or modules you want to install. For example, check the box for the Core Activity Tracker module. Then scroll to the bottom of the page and click Install. The checked modules and any dependencies will be installed. After completion, you should see a message at the top of the page indicating that the module was successfully installed. Alternatively, you can install modules using the pm-enable Drush command, or en for short. First, you need to know the machine name of the module you wish to install. If you don't already, in the Manage Administrative menu, click on Extend. The Extend page appears, showing all of the available modules on your site. Find the machine name of the module you want to install by expanding the information area for the module. For instance, the Core Activity Tracker module's machine name is Tracker. Then, in your terminal, from the root of your Drupal installation, run the following Drush command to install the module. Drush, en, and then the module's machine name. If prompted, choose yes to continue with the installation, and after the process is completed, you should see a message indicating that the module was successfully installed. A quick tip, if you do not see the effect of these changes on your site immediately, you might need to clear the cache. In this tutorial, we walk through how to install a module using the user interface and how to install a module using the pm-enable drush command.